Today, we're diving into the life of a man who was both a ruthless killer and an invaluable informant. A man so enigmatic, he was known as Kid Twist, but untwisted the dark underworld of organized crime like no one else before him. Buckle up, because you're in for a mobster story so twisty. Not even a Hollywood scriptwriter could make it up. Welcome to the baffling world of Abraham Kid Twist Rails. Abraham Kid Twist Reels was born in 1906 to Jewish immigrant parents in the Brownsville section of Brooklyn, New York. His parents were part of the wave of Jewish immigrants who fled the pogroms and harsh conditions of Eastern Europe in search of a better life in America. Despite their aspirations for a brighter future, the Reels family found themselves in a densely populated, impoverished neighborhood, a breeding ground for crime and corruption. While details about his education are scant, it's well documented that Reels was drawn to the darker aspects of society from a young age. The allure of power, respect, and easy money proved irresistible for the young man. Living in such a gritty environment exposed him early on to the underworld and shaped his perspective on life, cementing his path towards organized crime. Reels eventually became associated with significant criminal syndicates, primarily the Brownsville Boys, which later evolved into a more notorious assembly known as Murder. Incorporated, this group became the enforcement arm for the National Crime Syndicate, a coalition of Italian-American and Jewish mobs. Reels built alliances with other famous mobsters of the time, like Louis Lecht Butchalter and Albert Anastasia. His reputation for cold-blooded efficiency made him a sought-after enforcer and hitman. It was in this capacity that he became a pivotal figure in the underworld, executing orders from his bosses without question or hesitation. The nickname, Kid Twist, was not unique to Reels. It was borrowed from a prior New York gangster named Max Kid Twist Swerbach. The reasons for adopting this name are somewhat speculative. Some say it was a nod to his ability to twist people's arms, both literally and metaphorically, to get what he wanted. Others suggest it was a tribute to the original Kid Twist, whose criminal prowess Reels admired. Regardless of its origins, the nickname stuck and even appeared in headlines and court documents. In many ways, the moniker encapsulated the complex nature of Reels, a man capable of twisting situations to his advantage, be it through manipulation, intimidation, or outright violence. The name became synonymous with fear and ruthlessness, traits that would propel Reels to the top tiers of the American underworld. Abraham Kid Twist Reels played a crucial role in the formation and strengthening of Murder Incorporated, the enforcement arm of the National Crime Syndicate. Originally just a local gang in Brownsville, the group gradually became a much larger and far more dangerous operation. Rella's ruthlessness, cunning, and organizational skills made him an indispensable part of this deadly enterprise. Louis Leck Butchalter was a high-ranking mobster involved in various rackets, including labor racketeering, and had a strong influence over murder. Incorporated Rell's relationship with him was symbiotic. Reels provided the muscle and cold-blooded effectiveness that Butchalter needed. While Butchalter gave Rails protection and access to high-stakes jobs that further escalated his status in the underworld. Albert Anastasia, another key figure in the American Mafia, was also closely associated with Reels. Anastasia was feared as the Mad Hatter and Lord High Executioner for his role in numerous murders. Like Rails, he had an innate brutality that made him an effective, albeit terrifying, leader. Reels was involved in numerous criminal acts that solidified his reputation as a ruthless gangster. Reels was heavily implicated in the 1934 liquidation of rival gangster Walter Sage, also known as Walter Shapiro. Sage was strangled, and his body was found pinned with ice picks to a board, floating in a body of water. Reels earned a fearsome reputation and enormous sway in the criminal underworld. His rise within Murder Incorporated and his relationships with other notorious gangsters were pivotal in shaping organized crime during that period, making him one of the most infamous and effective criminals in American history. Abraham Kid Twist Rell's reign of terror saw an abrupt halt when law enforcement started closing in on Murder Incorporated and its key figures. The group had become too big and too violent to ignore, attracting the attention of the authorities who were keen to dismantle the criminal enterprise. A series of high-profile arrests and convictions of lower-ranking mobsters put pressure on the organization making its leaders increasingly vulnerable. Reels himself was arrested in 1940, primarily on charges of racketeering and murder. Investigators had been collecting evidence against him for some time, and the walls started to close in when several members of his gang were apprehended, making his arrest inevitable. Faced with the possibility of the electric chair, 
Reels made a life-altering decision. He chose to become a government informant. The decision was not solely driven by self-preservation, it was also strategic. By turning state's evidence, Reels could secure protection for himself and his family, while potentially taking down his rivals and competitors. Reels was moved to a secure location, and law enforcement agencies began debriefing him in earnest. His intimate knowledge of murder, incorporated, and its operations made him an invaluable asset to investigators and prosecutors. One of the most significant outcomes of Rell's cooperation was the conviction and subsequent execution of Louis Buchalter, a top leader in murder, incorporated this, marked the first time in U.S. history that a top-tier mob boss was executed. Abraham Kid Twist Reels met his end under mysterious circumstances on November 12, 1941. At the time of his death, he was being held under police protection at the Half Moon Hotel in Coney Island, given his invaluable role as an informant. On that fateful morning, Rails was found dead, his body sprawled on a roof outside the hotel, having apparently fallen from the window of his sixth-floor room. While the initial assumption was that Rails had attempted to escape and met an accidental death, the fact that he was set to testify against Albert Anastasia the following day made his death extremely suspicious. The most popular theory posits that members of the mob, possibly on the orders of or to protect figures like Anastasia, managed to bypass Rell's police protection and either threw him out of the window or forced him to jump. Some suggest that corrupt officers, possibly bought off by the mob, played a role in his death. The idea is that these officers either actively participated in his murder or conveniently looked the other way, allowing mob hitmen to do the deed. Abraham Kid Twist Reels left behind a complicated legacy. On one hand, he was a ruthless killer, responsible for countless deaths. On the other, his turn as an informant led to the conviction of numerous mob figures and shed light on the dark underworld of organized crime. Rail's life and death are emblematic of a tumultuous period in American history, where organized crime, political corruption, and the struggle for power played out in bloody confrontations and shadowy deals. His story is a testament to the blurred lines between right and wrong, loyalty and betrayal, and the lengths people will go to in their quest for power and survival. Before we wrap up, here's something to ponder. What if Kid Twist had lived long enough to testify against all the mob giants? Would the history of American organized crime be written differently, or was he just a chapter in an epic saga that's still being penned? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this roller coaster of a story, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more mind-bending tales from the dark corners of history. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring, and remember, the truth often comes with more twists than you can imagine.